I couldn't believe my eyes. I was slipping in people's blood. It was carnage. It was chaos. And it all played out on primetime television last night from 8 to 10 o'clock. The House Select Committee releasing never before seen video from the January 6th attack on the Capitol in 2021 in their primetime hearing revealing some of the findings of the investigation. In the first of a series of public hearings, the Committee of Seven Democrats and two Republicans attempted to make their case that the former President Donald Trump is directly responsible for the brutal attack on the U.S. Capitol. ABC has more of their testimony from Washington. In the first televised hearing laying out their findings, the House Select Committee investigating January 6th, arguing former President Donald Trump was at the center of a well-organized conspiracy to overturn the 2020 election. Starting with Trump's repeated false claims of election fraud, which the committee alleges culminated in the deadly Capitol riot. Over multiple months, Donald Trump oversaw and coordinated a sophisticated seven-part plan to overturn the presidential election and prevent the transfer of presidential power. The committee playing footage of a rioter reading a tweet from President Trump criticizing Vice President Pence for refusing to block Joe Biden's electoral college victory. Shortly after, the mob began chanting, Hang Mike Pence, which the committee says showed Trump's powerful influence over his supporters. Also in the hearing, new testimony from Caroline Edwards, a Capitol Police officer knocked unconscious after trying to hold the line against rioters. It was carnage. It was chaos. I can't even describe what I saw. The committee arguing far right groups like the Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys planned the insurrection for weeks and were among the first to breach the Capitol's perimeter. Nick Quested, a documentary filmmaker embedded with the Proud Boys, testifying he saw members of that group start to move toward the Capitol even before Trump began speaking at his Stop the Steal rally. We're not a criminal committee. Our main purpose is to show the American people a transfer of power cannot happen like this ever again. The committee's next public hearing is Monday. Then they're expected to lay out more of their case that President Trump and his advisors knew he'd lost the election but continued to spread false claims that it was stolen from him. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington. So the next public hearing is coming up on Monday and you can see it right here on WHAS 11. As you can see, it'll be at 10 a.m. from ABC News. ABC News again will take the hearings live 10 a.m. here on WHAS 11.